All right, here we are in a beautiful Yuma, Arizona morning looking at a very nice, well taken care of Langenfelter Performance Engineering Corvette. 1999 C5, very well preserved, 23,000 miles on it. Really a nice little car. Mr. Clean lives here with this car. We're going to walk around and tell you what we know. From what we know, he's the third owner of the car. Um, it was originally ordered for an executive at, from what we know and what the owner knows, it was ordered for an executive for ESPN out of Canada. And then of course how these cars are built is the factory ships the car direct to Lingenfelter in 1999. And they begin the conversion, the performance conversion on the car and then it's shipped to the owner wherever he's at. Uh, in this particular case that owner was in Canada so it was shipped from the States. It's a US EPA built car. Underneath the hood, they modify it, they show it, I mean, they make it show worthy underneath the hood. It's beautiful underneath the hood. Once we get there, you'll see what I mean. It's a 427 cubic inch, 509 horsepower at the rear wheels. It's an LS with uh, a Z06 cylinder heads on it, or LS6 cylinder heads on it that are polished and ported. It's got Kooks headers on it. It's absolute fast throttle body. We'll spend some time under the hood and of course go to Spud's Garage where we're going to have a bunch. But there's a lot of neat modifications to this car. If you stop and look at it, it looks like pretty much a stock Corvette, but you know by the sound of it, we'll fire it up and you've probably heard it run. Um, just a really muscly feel car that's fun to drive. Uh, the owner takes care of it and uh, it's here in Yuma in dry climate. He keeps it in a climate co controlled garage. The hood on it is actually Lincoln Felter puts a carbon fiber hood on it and uh, you can obviously get a sense of that by looking at the carbon fiber where they left it exposed here on the hood and it's got an air intake vent here. Heads up display, I didn't cover that while I was over there but it has heads up, all the options you would expect. It has uh, H, uh, I believe those are HRE performance wheels. The tires on it are new within the last uh, two, three years, that type of window. Well, this owner's owned it a few years and enjoyed it a little bit, and it's just time for her to move along, retirement-wise. They do some slight modifications to the side of the body, and those are Z06 uh, Corvette uh, brake vents on the back here. The interior, they spent a lot of time doing body color stuff. By the way, I didn't mention the color is called Magnetic Red, and it's definitely magnetic. It'll draw you in, that's for sure. They finish all the components underneath the hood, and again when we get there, but they finish all the plastic components in the engine, in the uh, interior of the car, also in the body color, and it's very, it's just pleasing to the eye. They do a lot of cool hidden features, I'll share that with you when we get over to the driver's side, that's why I have the brochure sitting there. They put some nice big cup holders, so you can put cup holders there, or, or your drink there. Has full audio system, Bluetooth leather interior they chrome plate a lot of the items on the car you figure whenever I do a car a trash truck decides it's gonna go by that's funny that happens to me way too much <laughs> all right carry on here Beautiful look and feel, well taken care of again, like I said. They modify the back of it here. It's got a Link, uh, Lingenfelter uh, ammo on the back, so you know what it is. LED tail lights and the reverse lights. If you watch any of the videos, you'll see that we had that LED tail lights. Beautiful car, got a nice sound to it. It's got, uh, I believe it's a Borla exhaust, or it has Borla exhaust tips on it. We'll kind of give you a feel from the back here. Again, 23,000 miles, so nice billet marker lights on the sides, the LPE emblems up on the front fenders, the top, the photo shoot was taken with the uh, top up on the driver's side. So if you go to Spud's Garage, you'll see some good shots with the top up. The top is also new within the last three years or so. Um, so the top's in just fine shape. Walking in here. We'll spend some time under the hood and show you some things that are included. Uh, this vehicle conforms to all ap applicable uh, U.S. federal motor vehicle safety standards. 
they put billet entry plates here billet I'll get it right I get tongue, tongue twisted at times I love the way that uh, these Corvettes look when the top's down. It's just beautiful. We're going to sit down in here and share some stuff with you. We'll actually fire it up. I do a lot of on the road driving. It'll be fun to take a road trip with this girl. One of the things that's really cool on this car is it has a K40. Um, radar detector in it which is a system that's got uh, hidden lights hidden sensors something that's uh, illegal I think in probably a lot of states uh, front alerts all the it's got alerts in the dash you can see the little white LEDs over here on the right and left um, you can change the volume over here of the uh, I'll get it open here here's the controls you can change the brightness of the lights or the volume of the of the K40 radar control. It has a full Kenwood audio system with Bluetooth. There's a Bluetooth speaker up here at the top. We're going to fire it up for you here. Since it, uh, this dash will switch from uh, metric or kilometers. Two gauges in the car because it went to Canada originally were the uh, uh, kilometer or metric style gauges in it which is the temp and the oil pressure so it was self Celsius but the gauge pack in it is actually a Z06 gauge pack with a 300 uh, 300 mile per hour uh, speedometer in it which is just cool and I bet you <laughs> it'd be fun to try and get there but you wouldn't be feeling too good afterwards I don't you'd be feeling a little nervous at this point anyway six-speed transmission we'll get out we'll let you hear it run we'll get you underneath the hood get you in the trunk and then go to spud's garage hey there you go have a great day go to spudsgarage.com hang on to the end of the video Give us a call we're never any pressure all right let's take a look underneath the hood man these things are just pretty under the hood you can tell a lot of time was spent built and building this car they do spend a lot of time building these cars or did in the past uh lincoln filter 427 cubic inch 509 horsepower at the rear at the rear wheels was dyno tested when the car was built but spending the time is all these finishes and these components underneath the hood here uh, the paint and body finished in the magnetic red that's factory on it. Those are polished and ported aluminum heads. We'll actually have the spec sheet at Spud's Garage. I'm not going to try and cover too much other than it's got fast EFI throttle body in it, fast intake, and again, uh, 509 horsepower at the rear wheels is what they dyno tested at. They chrome the uh, shocks, I mean, excuse me, the uh, hood hinges. This hood, we talked about it being carbon fiber bottom side you can clearly tell it's a carbon fiber hood man the amount of money you know they had a zipper on these things to get them right and this is truly a performance Corvette it's got just a mean nasty mean sound which is good in a good way uh, but a lot of the details up front here custom plates along the front they paid attention to the detail underneath the hood just like the exterior of the car which is kind of cool uh, kind of exterior of the car is kind of a little bit subtle. You get underneath the hood and it's got a nice uh, showy feel to it. Again, 427 cubic inch. I believe it's 600 foot-pounds of torque. There is a uh, 427 uh, CID emblem scenario underneath the hood that says 600 horsepower. And I'm sure it probably produces that, but at the rear wheels it's 509. probably produces that and then some again all these covers are completely refinished body color magnetic red they update a lot of the components in it the cooling the headers in fact I'll go back over and look at the cheat sheet here and kind of tell you what the headers are as we do a little walk around here very nice the headers on it are a uh, 
it's got a competition valve spring so on you know all that kind of stuff the exhaust it has uh, oversized stainless steel intake valves I know there's headers there on the thing and I'm probably looking right at it but it's got uh, I think kooks headers on it yeah and uh, I know I read that somewhere in studying the car prior to anyway there you go hang on to the end of the video go to spudsgarage.com it's Let's take a look in the trunk. Mr. Clean lives in this car, I can tell you that. This car is just tidy top to bottom. Almost every corner of it is just spotless. Um, again, the same level that they had underneath the hood. Chrome hinges, chrome hood uh, gas supports. They finished the uh, trunk much like the interior of the car. This panel pulls down and exposes a little bit more storage and you can see the convertible top in there. At Spud's Garage, we'll have photos with the top up. We're thinking you get the idea, like I always say, hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. All right, we wanted to share with you the things that are included with the car and that have been retained over the years. Uh, first things first, this is a actual uh, Bible for the car is probably what I would call it or something like that or a catalog. Uh, Lingenfelter documents these cars are shipped direct to them back in the day and uh, they're shipped new to the factory and then they do all the conversion to it. This particular car had a 52,000 sticker and by the time it was done the total investment was 113,000 for the end consumer of this car. After he'd done it they document everything, they pull all the labels off the car. Uh, where they've done it, the consumer label here, but there's a complete log of all the components that were done in the car. It's absolutely amazing, the organization that uh, put this car together. Anyway, uh, the original owner's manual, that type of thing. Couple of classic fanny packs that match the interior of the car. Car cover that's baby soft, very nice car cover, and he does his best to protect it from getting dust or anything on the car. Sunscreen for it. He's got a uh, extra bag of uh, the silicone hoses, red silicone hoses for under the hood if you want to replace them all. This is a tire repair kit, couple of uh, wheel locks, lug wrench. Anyway, we think you get the idea if you've watched the whole video. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.